Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, teacher. How are you, Mary? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. Good to see you in class. I'm great. <laughs> if you were asking, I'm great. Thank you so much for us. Going to wait a couple of minutes, everyone, before the class starts to get your classmates into the class, all right? Good evening, William. How are you? Yeah, I'm going to get a little bit of a All right, let's wait to get your classmates into the class, everyone. Because I see we have oh, some people sorry. with the microphones. All right, everyone. So welcome to today's class. It's a pleasure to have you, all of you. It's great to see you in class. Excellent, actually, right? I know, I understand that most of you have a really busy day, but it's good to see you in class. I'm going to share my PPT with you, my presentation. All right, just give me one second. All right, we can start. Today is Friday, August 27, 2021. Yay, it's finally Friday, everyone. Although some of us, we're going to work tomorrow, right? <laughs> but it's good that at least today is Friday. We are in class number four. And don't forget the level in which we are, which is beginners, right? Now, if you already copy the date on your notebook, we can move on. Now, as every class, we're going to have a special part called, do you remember? Or do you recall? Okay. We have the following questions. Number one, mention the verb to be. If you remember everyone, verb to be in verb to be, we have three verbs. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to have William mention the verb to be, please. Okay. I am. 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 Your. Cheese. It. Uh -huh, the verb to be, William. We only have three. Am. Am. Are. Your, your are in bird to be everyone. This is for everyone. In bird to be, we only have three. Um, are, um, is. Is. Uh -huh. Okay. Don't um, forget. Are, is. Uh -huh, exactly. When you have the subject, I, plus the verb to be, it's this, right? Excellent. Thank you, William. Number two, we use possessive adjectives when, let's see. Roberto, when do we use possessive adjectives? Roberto. 
Roberto Ramírez, when do we use possessive adjectives? If you don't know, let's see, Karen, when do we use possessive adjectives? Karen Jimenez. My, your, is, her, it's, of, they. All right, very good. Those are the possessive adjectives. But when do we use them? ¿Cuándo los utilizamos? When do we use them? Huh? When we want to show possession, when we want to say to someone that something belongs to us, right? When we want to say, this is my cup of tea, right? When we want to know, no, when we want that everybody knows that something is ours, right? We show possession. That's when we use possessive adjectives. Now, mention the verb to be a structure. Alejandro? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, me dijo, repeat me, please. Number three, mention the verb to be a structure. The sentences. Okay. Uh, you, we, they uh, equal are. Mm -hmm. He, she, it equal is. Very good. Yes, there you have it. And also, everyone, don't forget that when we are doing sentences, we have verb to be plus subject. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Subject plus verb to be plus complement, right? That's the structure. In this one, in number three, subject plus verb to be plus complement. We said that yesterday, I think so. And also the first class. And thank you, Alejandro. Number four, let's see. Angel Rosario, mention the questions with B a structure. We only have one structure in this case using B. Good night. Good night, good evening. Verb um, to be plus subject plus complement. Excellent, really good job. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, there you have it. Just for you to recall or to remember, this is the questions structure with B, right? Remember that it's going to change. For example, in normal sentences, we have first the subject and then we have the verb to be and then the complement. That's like in normal sentences. But in questions, questions, you are going to have first the verb be. It could be am, is, are. Let's check the following guiding examples that we have. What's my verb to be in number one, Janina? Show me the verb to be in number one. Am I hungry as I? Mm -hmm. What's my verb to be? Um, what am I able to be? Uh -huh, exactly, very good. Um, excellent, thank you, Janina. Roberto, in number two, what's my verb to be? Roberto, are you there? What's my verb to be in number two? I don't know if they're talking, but we can't hear you. Let's see, Maria Teresa, what's my verb to be in number two? Is. Exactly, very good. Emilio, what's my verb to be in number three? Mm -hmm. 
What's my verb to be? It, it. Exactly. It's very good. Jamilet, what's my verb to be in number four? I can't hear you, but I saw your lips. No la puedo escuchar, pero sí alcancé a ver el movimiento de labios. In which you say are, right? X. Number. Let's see. Aníbal, Galicia. Number five. Which is, me, which is my verb to be number five? Are. Exactly. Nelson David, in number six. What's my verb to be? Is. Exactly. Oscar Carranza in number seven. Which is my verb to be? R. Exactly. Thank you. Now, my dear students, if you notice, we only have three, right? Am, um, is, are. That's a staple that won't change. The things that are going to change are the subjects. We can use I, she, he, we, they, it, you, right? Those are my subjects that they could change in any time whenever I'm changing my verb to be. With that being said, let's move on. We have the practice time. Now, let me check. Um, some of you participate yesterday in this part in which it was creating one question using verb to be. All right. Now, I don't know if you finished. I don't remember if you finished this activity yesterday. But if we didn't finish this activity, we are going to finish it today, right? Because then I need to move on with numbers and other topics. So let's see. Create one question, one simple question using verb to be at the beginning. Okay, let's work. Remember, you're going to use this structure. Yes, Maria Teresa? Yes, Edgardo, my song. Mm -hmm, exactly, very good. Is Edgardo, my song, excellent. Maria Edgar Teresa. Edgardo is my. See? Is, um... If it isn't question, you need the verb to be at the beginning. Is Edgardo? My son. My son. Yeah. Very good. So Edgardo is going to be your subject. Excellent. Very good. Now, even if you participate yesterday, create another one because you're going to pass today. We should practice as much as we can. And let me know when you're finished. Uh-huh, Mary, you have a question? Is Febe my teacher? Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good, excellent. That's correct. Double shot, excellent. Now, let's see, let's start asking the other ones. William, tell me your, your question using verb to be. Are you technology teacher? Mm -hmm. That's the same that you told me yesterday. Don't believe that I forget. <laughs> Don't creo que me olvidé. Ayer me dijo la misma. <laughs> All right, William. Thank you. Let's see. Aníbal Galicia. Are you a taxi driver? Are you a taxi driver? Thank you. Very good. Let's see, Emilio Jimenez, your question. Okay. 
what you mean oh, please tell me your question using verb to be you mean Did you create your sentence, your question? Hizo su pregunta, Emilio, utilizando verb to be. Uh, I am. I am. Am I? In class. Huh? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Recuerde que en preguntas el verbo to be va a ir al principio. Cuando hacemos preguntas, el verbo to be va al principio y luego va al subject. Por eso usted dijo, I am in class. Si la cambiamos, puede decir, am I in class? In class. All right. Check this, Emilio. I don't want you to lose this information. This is important. I, verb to be I is the in class. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, everyone. If you have if you have any doubt about about verb to be, let me know because this is the base of everything. So I don't want you to make a mistake when using the verb to be because if not, it's going to be difficult for you the following topics. Let's see, Carlos Guevara, your question. And please not to be with university. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is your professional lawyer? Are you? Porque está utilizando el you. Are you a professional lawyer? Okay. Excellent. Very good. Great. Janira Velasquez. Are happy? Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Excellent, Yanira. Yeah, I can see that you're happy. That's great. <laughs> Let's see, Alejandro, your your question. Uh, it's, pardon, sorry. It's, is Alejandro at home? <clears throat> is it? Remember, is it? No, now. Is Alejandro at home? Ah, is Alejandro at home? Yeah, very good, that one. Excellent. Thank you. Alejandro Contreras. Very good. Let's go with Karen, Karen Jimenez. Is he a doctor? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very really good. Clever. Clever, clever. Oscar Carranza. Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Oscar. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not crazy. Thank you. Thank you, Ned. Let's see, Carla de Hernandez. Is it my car red? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Is it my car red? Very good. Nelson David. Are you a policeman? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. We are creating content. Excellent. Francisco Fernandez. What is your favorite color? Okay, that question is correct, but you are not using the verb to be at the beginning. Because right now we are using a specific sub. Su pregunta está perfecta. Pero ahorita estamos en el tiempo del verb to be first and then subject. Meanwhile, let's have Roberto Ramírez.
Open your microphone. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Problem things. Are they in your house? Exactly, very good that one. Are they in your house? Excellent, all right, everyone. Let's see, I'm just missing Rosario, I think so. Angela Rosario, yes. Angela Rosario, tell me your question, please. Eh, le voy a hacer una pregunta a él. No, Después you're going de... to ask me. Give me your example of question. Okay. A mí me tiene que decir su pregunta, Angela. Using verb to be at the beginning. Um, is is it that cardio? Repeat again. Is it that cardio? All right. Yeah. Is it that cardio? Angela Rosario. All right. Check. Now listen, everyone. In here, we finished with this part. Bravo, if you already know how to use verb to be, which I hope you do, how to use it in affirmative and how to use it in negative and how to use it in questions, right? Now, let's move on. We have this part, which is pretty interesting because of the activities that we're going to have, right? It says, let's practice with numbers. Now, these are like the first, 10 numbers that we have. We have zero. Also, you can say O. Oh. Then we go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's pay attention to A. In this one, the correct pronunciation is eight. You cannot say H, all right? Because H is another thing, it's not a number, okay? Eight. Let's practice together. We are going to have Aníbal Galicia. Please tell me the numbers from zero to 10. All right. Uh, zero or O, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Very really good job. Thank you. Alejandro Contreras, tell me the numbers from zero to ten. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent, thank you. Carla de Hernandez, tell me the numbers from 0 to 10. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Excellent, very good. Carlos Guevara, tell me the numbers from 0 to 10. 0 or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Excellent, very good. Oscar Carranza, tell me the numbers from 0 to 10. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Excellent, very good. Karen Jimenez, tell me the numbers from 0 to 10. Zero or or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you very much. Roberto Ramirez, tell me the numbers from zero to ten. Don't forget the microphone, Roberto. 
excuse me feel one two three four five six seven eight nine ten excellent very good thank you nelson david the numbers from zero to ten okay zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thank you very much francisco fernandez from zero to ten the numbers please One, two, three. Hmm, your microphone went off. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's go with William. I oh, know William, you already passed, right? Say a pass William. No. No. Okay. Tell me from O to ten. Zero, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you very much. Janira Velasquez, from O oh to ten. Zero, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you very much. Jamilet Torres. Let's see, Jamilet, if your microphone is working now. Nothing, my friend. I can't hear you. Uh, no sé si ahorita me escucha. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Zero, oh, one, G. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen. Excellent. Very good, Jamilet. Don't forget that the first one is zero. All right? Zero. Let's move on. Let's go with. Well, I believe, as far as I understand, all of you participate already. Now, let's get to the practice time, my friends. We have the instructions. I'm going to need... Ah, Emilio, you didn't pass. Ah, Emilio, se está quedando. Let's see, tell me the numbers from zero to 10. Okay. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you, Emilio. All right, everyone. Now that everybody has participated on telling me the numbers, let's see. We have the practice time. I'm going to need Janina, please read the instructions. Work in, work individually. Number two, create a fake phone number. Number three, share two phone number. Excellent, really good. Now listen everyone, this is funny. You're going to create a fake phone number, right? No, numero falso, <laughs> all right? You're going to create any phone number that you want to use, don't worry. And then you're going to share your phone number. In here I'm missing the age, oh my gosh, right? You're going to tell me your phone number. Now, on your notebooks, if you want, write it down, okay? Remember that we need eight numbers because in El Salvador, we use eight numbers. Now, this is my guiding example. My phone number is 7032-0085. Let's suppose that's my phone number, right? You're gonna do the same. You're going to create a fake one, no files. And then you're going to share it with Let me know when you're finished.
Finish. Finish. I'm done. Finish. Finish. Excellent. Very good. Now, we're going to work in pairs. One of you is going to ask this question. What's your phone number? And the other one is going to answer, right? This is the question that we're going to use and the other one is going to answer. I'm going to give you the example. Let me see. Let's go with Nelson David, okay? Ask me this question. What your phone number? Oh my gosh, I'm having issues with the age. Thank you, Nelson. My phone number is 7032-0085, all right? Let's go with Oscar Carranza. Ask this question to Alejandro and let's see what number is going to share Alejandro with you. Okay. What's your phone number? My phone number is 744241146. Excellent, very good job. There you have it, okay. excellent. Now, Roberto, you are going to ask this question to Karen, but pay attention what you're gonna do, Roberto. You are going to write, write on your notebook, Karen's telephone number, right? She's going to tell you her telephone number, her fake telephone number, and you are going to write it down. And then you're going to tell her. It's na 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 na, okay? Okay, okay. okay. What's your phone number? My phone number is seven one two three four five six eight. Okay. What's her cell phone number, Roberto? Seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Is that correct, Karen? Is that correct? Yes. 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 All right, excellent. Thank you. Now let's change. Karen, you are going to ask Roberto her his phone number. Remember, you're going to take note of his phone number. Okay, ask the question. Okay. What's your phone number? My phone number two seven eight four eight three eight. Huh? Let's see, Karen. What's his phone number? Repeat, please. Repeat again, Roberto. My phone number is two seven eight four seven three eight. The number is two four six eight seven three eight. Yes, it is. Are you sure, Roberto? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> seguro, Roberto? <laughs> uh, uh, All right, don't worry. One, one, one error. Uh, one mistake. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Un poco de ayuda, right. nomás. <laughs> Está dando copia. No, it's okay. Lo que quiero es que localicemos bien los números. Así que aún si we made a mistake, aún si hacemos un error, don't worry. Solo nosotros, okay. nosotros mismos lo vamos a corregir con los compañeros, right? Para eso estamos, porque oh, yo right. lo copié y, y no era ese, Karen. No era ese, no era mm. ese. <laughs> All right, excellent, Roberto and Karen. Thank you. Let's go with... Okay. I'm going to have Maria Teresa and William. 
Same dynamic, la misma dinámica, same dynamic. Okay, Maria Teresa, you are going to ask William his phone number. What's your phone number? My phone number is 75034491. What's William's phone uh, number, Maria Teresa? Repeat. My phone number is five, perdón, seven, five, oh, three, four, four, nine, one. The, um, teacher, uh -huh. disculpe, pero el número tres no le entiendo cuál es. Number three. If you, no. Yo tengo el número aquí, se lo voy a dictar. Sí, sí. El 3, es que, es que yo lo tengo, disculpa, pero el 3, el número 3 no lo entiendo. Ok, here we go. 7503. Oh. Ajá. Uh -huh. 03. Oh. 3. 44491. Ajá, exacto. Very good. Oh. Is that correct, William? It's correct. Excellent, very good. Okay, mm -hmm. now it's change William you are going to ask Mary okay Mary what's your phone number my phone number is six four two zero seven eight two five repeat please six four two zero seven Eight two five. Okay, thank you. What's what's Mary's telephone number, William? Is six four two zero oh, seven eight two five. Perdón, wow. seven. <laughs> Very good, excellent. Good uh, good ear, everyone. Excellent job. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's work with. Let me see, Angela Rosario, you are going to work with Carlos Guevara, okay? Let's see, Angela, you are going to ask Carlos. Carlos, what's your phone number? My phone number is 7407. One, two, zero, four. Repeat, please. My phone number seven four zero seven one two zero four. Ajá, Angela. What's Carlos' phone number? Seven, seven, uh -huh. four, zero, one, four. Mm, we're missing a couple of them. Let's see, Carlos. Please confirm in, if this is your phone number. Confirm. Seven. Four o seven one two o four. It's correct. Right. Excellent. Very good. Now let's exchange. Angela, Carlos, you are going to ask Angela her phone number. Okay. <laughs> What's your phone number? Seven zero. Nine, nine, two, three, three, five. Aha, Carlos, what's Angela phone number? Your phone number is seven, zero, nine, nine, two, three, three, five. Is that correct, Angela? 
Yes, miss. Excellent. Very good job, everyone. Excellent job. Now, let's see. With this practice, what I want you to focus is on using the verb to be and also the numbers, right? When we learn to listen numbers specifically, it's going to be easier for us to learn higher amounts of number, right? Like three numbers in one row, it's going to be easier for us if we learn from one to three. Excellent, really good job. I'm proud of you, everyone. Now let's go to this vocabulary. What's in your bag? We have an airbrush, an address book, an address book, a camera, keys, a cell phone, a wallet, a CD player, sunglasses. Now, if you don't have this vocabulary on your notebooks, you can copy this. You can also copy the name in English and the one in Spanish if you wait, if you if you want, right? So that you don't get confused in the vocabulary. We have an address book, airbrush, wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a cell phone, keys, a camera. I want to miss mm -hmm. uh, address book sería libro de direcciones de, de dirección bueno mm -hmm. gracias it could be also an agenda como una agenda ajá Roberto What, what is graphic wallet? Ah, what is a wallet? Let me see if I have mine. I have mine over here. This is a wallet. The In one the in which you, uh -huh, exactly. You can have your money, your documents, everything. Un bolsito pequeño. Exactly. Un monedero. No, it's not a monedero. Wallet is a billetera. Ahí no hay otro. No hay otro significado. Una preguntita. Ajá. Gracias. Eh, quizás en español mejor, porque no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Porque algunas se eh, cuentan, algunas cosas. Se, eh, o sea, se cuentan tienes para interpretarlo como uno y otras no. Because you don't need it. When you don't need it, you when you need the indefinite article, you're going to use it. But in this case, for example, look at this one, sunglasses. You cannot say these are a sunglasses, right? Because you only have one. And you're going to be specific in this because already has the ES, but it's because that's the name, that's the proper name. It's not changing, ahí no cambia. Por eso no le han puesto el indefinido ahí, right? That's why. And basically that's, ah, and keys. For example, you have a lot of keys, you don't have a specific key. Si tuviera solo una, sería aquí. But we are, we have a lot of them, right? In one row. Another question, por el, more questions. Por el plural, o sea, se definiría por el plural. Mm -hmm, exactly. There you have it, Carlos. Okay. Excellent. Aha, uh -huh, Roberto, tell me. Sí, 
the player mm -hmm. equal equal in Spanish see the player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, if you notice, in actually in Spanish como, we use como como si fuera un anglicismo. Uh -huh. Se utiliza en español también si the player this There man. You have it. It's, it's, es como el ok, que nosotros siempre utilizamos el ok. O el gracias. nice, cuando es en inglés, pero siempre lo utilizamos nice. Right? There you have it, it's the same. Let's see, Mari, María Teresa, I think you were raising your hand, right? Estaba levantando su mano, Mary. What is a hair brush? Hair brush. The one that you use to brush your hair. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm, exactly, that one. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, my friend. All right, everyone, if you finish writing this vocabulary, let's move on. Finish. Excellent, really good. We have a conversation, my favorite part, because we can develop our speaking ability. Let's see. I'm going to have Jamilet Torres. You are going to be Wendy. And William, you are going to be Rex. And Karen, you are going to be Helen. All right? All Let's right. See. Let's see, Jamilet. You start. You are Wendy. We can hear you. <laughs> uh -huh, let's try, Camille. Teacher, permítame un momento que tengo problemas con los audífonos. Okay, Camille, don't worry, no se preocupe. Let's see, let's change. Karen, you are still Helen, and William, you are still Rex. Angela Rosario, you are Wendy. Action. Okay. Wow. What's it? What's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You are welcome. Now no. open this box. Okay. You what are they this this? Their star earrings. Oh they they inter inter interesting. Thank you, Rex. They, they're very nice. Excellent, really good. All right, everyone. This conversation is pretty funny because the girls like, I don't like that present. All right, very good job, Karen, William, and, and Rosario. Let's pay attention to my pronunciation in the following words. They, their earrings, earrings, right? These are the earrings. Let me see if I can show you one. These are the earrings, right? Earrings. Interesting. Interesting. Don't say interesting, no. Interesting. Look at my mouth, interesting. Interesting, right? Let's go with Carlos Guevara. You are Red and Maria Teresa, you are Wendy and Janina, you are Helen. Action. Wendy. Oh. Perdón. <laughs> uh -huh, Mary. Uh, I Wendy. Yes, you are Wendy. Wow. What is this? It's a camera. It's a <laughs> oh cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. Janina, you are Helen. Carlos, you are Rex. Ustedes Rex. 
right? You're welcome. I, no, I... Perdón que me es que ya no, me perdí, confundimos. Mi... Nos subimos a la voladora. <laughs> Don't worry, no se preocupen. Let's just start again. De eso se trata esto. Let's go. María Teresa, you are Wendy. Carlos, you are Rex. El chico, Rex. You are the boy. Janira, you are Helen. Helen. Wow. What is? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. Is this great? You're welcome. Now open this book. Books. Okay. Uh, what uh, are these? They carry. Oh, they're in interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're they're very nice. Excellent. Very really good job. Let's see, Mary. Repeat after me. What's this? What this? What's this? What this? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very really good. Um, Carlos, repeat after me. Their. Their. Earrings. Earrings. Mm -hmm. Earrings. All right. Now, the last pair that I'm going to have. <laughs> I'm going to have, because I don't have any more women. Let me see. <laughs> Bueno, a los varones le va a tocar interpretar a Wendy y a Helen. Let's go with Alejandro. You are Wendy and Aníbal Galicia. You are Helen and Roberto. You are Rex. Action. Wow. What? What's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now, open this box. Oh, uh -huh. what, what it is this? Their earrings. Oh, they are inter, interesting, interesting. Interesting. You, inter, oh, what? Interesting. Inters, thank you, Rex. Very, very nice. Excellent, very good job, boys. Now listen, everyone, in this one, it looks it, it looks actually really difficult, this word, right? Interesting. Se escribe interesting, pero no se pronuncia así. It's interesting. Interesting. Solo procuren no pronunciar la E y la S que tenemos en medio. Eso es todo. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, very good. good. All right, everyone. Excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. Now, let's check this one. We use these whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. Wait, this is. There you have it. All right? When the object is near you, this. This is my cell phone. The object is near me, right? Lo tengo cerca, near me. We use this when you are talking about two or more objects that are near to you. For example, let me check if I have in here um, something to give you an example with, okay? These are my books. I don't, I don't know if I can, if you can see that. These are my books, but I have two, right? I have two things. These are my books. And notice the pronunciation in these ones. This one is like more strong, right? This. And this one is this. All right? There you have it. Copy this information on your notebook, please. please. Because on Monday, I'm going to ask you about it.
Let me know when you're finished. Finish. Excellent. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Let's wait for your classmates. Finish. Finish. Excellent. I won't change it right now because I see that some of you are still taking notes. So let's wait. Now let's see everyone. Finish, miss. Excellent, very good. Is it clear this part? Do you have any questions or doubt about this and this? Questions, doubts? No, I'll be clear. It's clear, excellent. Ah, Maria Teresa, let's see, Mary. This one object, mm -hmm. this two or, or mass uh -huh. or, mo or more object. Excellent, there you have it, girl. Excellent, very really good job. All right, now that you already have the information, we have these examples, these guiding examples. This, this, it, they, and plurals. This is a camera. We only have one. These are cameras. Two cameras. Now let's check the questions. What's this? It's an earring. One, only one. It's an earring. What are this? They are earrings. Okay, notice the difference. In the first one, I'm using is, because it's only one. In the second question, I'm using are, my verb to be are, because we are in plurals. We have more than one camera, right? Let's check the pronunciation of this one. I will have Nelson David. What is this? This is a camera. Excellent, very good. What are these, Aníbal Galicia? These are cameras. Excellent, very good. William, what's this? What this? It's an earring. Excellent, very really good. Alejandro, what are these? Teacher, estaba copiando todavía. Sería eh, number four. Oh no, in this one, just the one that I'm that I have my mouth okay. in here. What are this? What are these? Or that, como, this? This. What are these dire earrings? Excellent, very good. No se olviden que la pronunciación es what are this, right? What so, are this? Uh -huh, excellent, very good. Let's see, Roberto. What are these? The earrings. Very good. Excellent. Carla de Hernández. What's this? What this is an earring. Earring. Repeat, earring. Earring. Excellent, really good job. Now, listen, we have contractions. Please remember that in verb to be, we have contractions, right? We can use it's, that means it is, they are, equals they are what equals what is let's think about this don't forget this information if in monday i have some exercises for you i will need you to catch them up all right now let's move on with this now it's your practice time 
Complete this conversation, then practice with a partner. This is not a conversation. These are just exercises, right? For example, number one, let's see. Maria Teresa, please read number one. Just read it. Number, number one, what are these? Their, their keys. Excellent, very good, thank you. Janina, number two, please. What does this? Mm, is a CD player. Excellent, very good. What's this? It's a CD player, excellent. Remember everyone, thank you, Janira. When we have only one object, I will use is. If I have more than one object, I will use are. I will use this if I have one object and I will use this if I have more than one object, right? It is not complicated, just I need you to focus on this, okay? Si utilizo el this, utilizo el is. Y si utilizo el this, utilizo el are, right? Simple as that. No confusion on that part. Now let's see. I'm going to need Francisco Fernandez. What do you have for number three? Mm, if you're not in here, let's see somebody who has number three already. Mis, disculpe, es que estoy teniendo mala. Ah, okay, yes, Francisco, don't worry. Comprendo, no se preocupe. Vaya. Quiero ver, estos ejercicios son de la plataforma, estudiantes. Así que yo esperaría que si estén trabajando en la plataforma y vayan avanzando, right? Esto lo van a ver en la plataforma. It's part of section two, all right? Now, listen. Eh, we're going to work on these exercises on Monday. Don't forget to get into the class on Monday, okay? The, the virtual class. We are going to work with these exercises on Monday, so take your time. You can make them on the platform. If you have questions, you can ask me. And we are going to stop the class in here, all right? It is a pleasure. It was a pleasure to be in here with you today. Have a great night and take care, all right? Goodbye. See you on Monday. Goodbye. God Goodbye. bless you. Thank you. Same for you. My good weekend. Thank you. Bye. 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 Happy weekend. Thank you. Same for you. Happy weekend. Excellent. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night, everyone. Take care. See you on Monday. No se les olvide conectarse on Monday. Bye. One day.